Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is definitely a new time for me to be filming. It is currently 11.58 p.m. at night and I just had the idea to start filming this reading vlog and I really want to meet my New Year's resolution of just filming when I feel like it instead of trying too hard to like script or plan too much in advance because I really feel like my best ideas are very spontaneous so I'm doing that and I am filming this video. I also put out a poll in the new year and asked you guys what videos you'd be most interested in watching and surprisingly a lot of you wanted to see more reading vlogs even though my reading vlogs don't really perform well but that's okay I really enjoy filming them they're honestly some of my vid favorite videos to film just because of how real I get to be and of just how chaotic I get to be I just love it I just get to point the camera and talk about the books that I'm currently reading but today's reading vlog is really going to be so cool because I have so many things planned. So if you didn't know, this weekend, by the time you watch this video, it's going to be over. But this weekend, January 22nd on Sunday, is Lunar New Year. And Lunar New Year is celebrated throughout many cultures. But for me, I am celebrating Chinese New Year. And it's just an exciting time of the year. It's one of my favorite holidays because of all the festivities around it. Um, and it lasts more than, more than one day but I believe it starts on January 22nd but of course I had to find some way to tie it back to books so I actually just received this book in the mail if you didn't watch my previous video I did a sponsorship with book of the month and this was one of the selections of January and I chose this book and it is Lunar Love by Lauren Kung Jessen and I'm so happy that they chose this book because if they did not choose this book I would have never found out about this book and that would be really really sad so if you couldn't guess it, this book takes place during Lunar New Year um, and I'm just so glad. I don't really, I don't think I've ever seen a book that takes place during Lunar New Year. But this follows our main character, Olivia, as she is taking over her grandmother's matchmaking business. Um, and the matchmaking business like creates matches for people based on like the Chinese Zodiac approach. And she meets this guy who is creating an, a dating app that actually is stealing business away from her matchmaking service. And of course, the creator of that app has to be the infuriating, ow, infuriatingly handsome love interest. So you guys know how I feel about enemies to lovers. I love all the drama and I specifically really am enjoying this so far because the, our characters, the love interest and the main character are actually both mixed race. So they both sh share a heritage, um, a Chinese heritage and then uh, another mixed heritage. And I think that's really cool. I think there aren't enough books that talk about like mixed race characters um, who especially celebrate these like big cultural holidays. So yeah, our book takes place during Lunar New Year and I think it does talk a little bit about the celebration but also just so much cultural stuff. I'm only on page 44 but there's just so many cultural stuff like so much of the food, the food that I ate as a child and during these festivals and holidays and it's just so beautiful and glorious. So yes, that is the content of the, today's video. Good morning, it is 12.01 a.m. Good morning. Um, so that is basically the vlog. So if you're interested in continuing to watch, just keep watching. I'll be reading this and then I'll try to film some of the like festivities that we do leading up to Lunar New Year because on January 22nd, we really wanna host a dumpling wrapping party for me and my friends. So I think that's gonna be super, super fun. And I'm just, ah, I'm so excited. So yay, follow me along. I'm really loving this book so far and I will update you tomorrow. Hello everyone, good morning. So I'm about to head off somewhere. I actually woke up pretty late and started to work pretty late, but I have something fun coming up after work. So I just got ready. If you didn't see the little clip before, I got ready, I got dressed. This has been a long time coming because since I work from home, I feel like I just don't get dressed anymore and I don't really get ready anymore. And that's totally fine because I am a homebody. So I do love 
like staying at home and I prefer that over like going out every day and going to work but I do miss getting ready every day and putting on new outfits and you know just looking cool so yeah but I thought I would update you guys because I did read a little bit yesterday. I started post-it noting too because I realized that I wouldn't be able to like remember everything if I didn't note it. But I am currently on page 81. I am enjoying this book so much. I just feel like I honestly couldn't have found like a better book to be reading now. It's just so resonant with what's happening now, what's happening in my life, and I just feel like it's the perfect like lighthearted romance, but also dives deep into some cultural aspects as well. One thing I will say, our main character is like scary devious and I sort of like that but I feel like people will be a little turned off by it. I feel like people will be like, why is she trying so hard to hate this guy? But I can totally see where she's coming from, especially um, because this guy, the love interest is the creator of this dating app that is kind of like stealing her family's like legacy of like 50 years. So I can understand how she's a little pissed and it's also infuriating that he is both kind charming intelligent and really handsome so I can see why she's pissed but yeah I love how this book kind of takes us into the brain of a very devious person and we get to kind of see her thought process when she is like planning her you know campaign against him because this entire story is her kind of infiltrating his life um and he doesn't know who like she really is but she knows that he is like the other competing business and it's just really cute and fun it's a really great concept and i really love again to see the inner monologue of our main character as she is kind of like going through her head about how to go about this and she just sounds very devious again i mentioned this in the previous clip but i think it's so important that this book follows characters with a mixed race identity i think it's super important because this book touches a lot about it in terms of like how both characters relate in some sort of way where they don't feel like they totally belong but they want to, to claim their culture obviously because they they have family from that culture and they want to be able to identify with it but they don't feel like they have a right to that is a super interesting conversation and i can't wait to see like how it plays out for the rest of the book the book dives pretty deep into the Chinese Chinese Chinyak, the Chinese zodiac signs, which I wasn't expecting. I thought this was just going to be like a romance, but it actually like discusses a lot about the zodiac signs. Also, comment down below what your Chinese zodiac sign um your year is, like your Chinese Chinese zodiac sign for the year is. Um I will leave like a link to how to see that cuz based on what year you were born, you are assigned to one of the 12 animals. But comment down below if you know. Um but yeah, I really appreciate this because growing up, I mean, I grew up in a very traditional family, but I still don't feel like my family ever talked about the Chinese zodiac signs or more about like the the cultural significance of like Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year in my family. Like why do we eat as a family? Why do we give these red envelopes? All this stuff. So I really am loving this book and it's just, ugh, it's just making me so sappy because I am thinking about all of the things. Like, you know, I lost my grandmother recently and she was kind of like the, the captain of like tradition and she was like you know doing all these traditional things and i'd be like why and she wouldn't explain it to me so it's really resonant and it's making me super emotional one more thing i want to touch on before i go and then i read more later tonight which i'm so excited for god i don't remember being this excited about reading a book Anyway, I love how this story blends tradition and modernity. I think not a lot of books talk about, especially with like very traditional cultures, about how it is manifesting in this modern world. And in this case, it is manifesting in a dating app and it's using Chinese cultural significance to kind of run this dating app and as a thesis for this dating app. So I just think that's so interesting and I love when books talk about culture and how it has grown over time and especially with these two main characters because one of our main characters is super like traditional very set in her ways but then we have one love interest who's about to like stir things up and i just know it's gonna get so good like mm, you guys really don't know how excited i am to read this book 
So yeah, that's my update for now. I will read more tonight, hopefully get halfway through the book, and I will update you a little bit more tonight because I'm just so excited to read. But I would, if you're you know watching this video and you're interested so far, I would say to pick up this book. Lunar New Year kind of spans into February, so it's really there's really no bad time to read this. I feel like it's not a holiday focused book, like you don't have to read this at a certain time. You can read this like anytime, but I'll I'll keep you updated more on like how um like you know just like i know some people i feel like especially when i bring up like holiday books they're kind of like set in like the time period like you can read it but there really is no perfect time to read this book then now so pick it up but yeah i will catch in with you later bye okay so now i'm a little bit more than halfway through the book i am absolutely loving it no surprise there but there are just so many things that are happening that I feel like I still need a little bit of time to gather my thoughts. What I can say though is that this book, I feel like the characters are going to develop and grow so much. Like the most character development I've ever read in like a romance book. Just because I feel like in the beginning we're told that they're very set in their ways. We have two very stubborn characters. But I feel like through meeting each other they're going to change their ways and how they view the world. And it's just a beautiful thing to see. But the reason I wanted to do an update now was because this book just creates such an intriguing and striking conversation about like matchmaking and compatibility and I want to know what you guys think or just maybe think about this in your head. Basically in this book we have two characters right? We have our main girl who is Olivia and she is very traditional and set in her ways and her belief is that if two people are incompatible like on paper they will not make a good couple and it does not make for a successful long relationship and then we have our love interest I already forgot his name but anyway we have our love interest who is creating this dating app and kind of creating a modern spin on tradition and he believes that you don't have to be compatible on paper and you can be incompatible but still have a successful relationship because of having the same interests and other things like compatibility isn't the only thing that decides whether or not you might make a good um, couple or if you're in love with someone um, so this strikes the whole question of like do opposites attract or do they not attract and for me I have my own personal beliefs on this just because I feel like with my current relationship and in relationships where I've have felt very successful is my I like my partner currently now we are not compatible on paper at all like on paper we are two differently entirely people but I feel like that's what works really well and that's just my opinion i personally believe opposites attract i did a poll on my instagram which is really interesting so i just want to hear your thoughts about it or it, let it stew in your brain a little bit and i guess i can talk about it later but let it stew in your brain a bit about what you what your opinion is on compatibility i am obviously not like a licensed matchmaker or psychologist or sociologist or anything i don't really know much about this i'm just doing it based on like my personal beliefs and experience but i'm telling you this book is not just giggles and romance and heart eyes it is very it is very striking intriguing so if you really like that in your romance novels you like to have conversations about like the way our characters see the world and the way they see love I would highly recommend picking up this book. I don't think I expected this. Not gonna lie, I was expecting some cheesy romance novel and I knew that it would be like pure cheese and would make me cringe at times. But I have not cringed once and I honestly think that this has very subtle undertones of being a more serious story about culture and identity. Um, so again, just really enjoying it. And yeah, I'll read a little bit more. I'm working right now. I'm actually creating a Lunar New Year book recommendation in Instagram posts to go live on Lunar New Year um, but I will try to do some reading later tonight and then maybe update you when I'm further into the book but again not much else I can say other than I am purely just so excited to go back to reading this book hello everyone good morning so it is currently Thursday January 19th and I just woke up had therapy it was such a great session and I read a lot yesterday I read before I went to bed just because I was 
I've been wanting to get back into this world so badly because it's reminding me how close Lunar New Year is and how excited I am for all the festivities that I have planned. So I'm going to be reading the rest of this today. I am on page 239, which is honestly pretty good. I only have this much left. So I think the next time that I'll be speaking to you, I think I'm gonna do my like full review of the entire book. But so far, as you know, there's nothing really new happening. I'm loving it as usual, but I've just, this is such an endearing book and I think I'm just learning, like the characters are just learning so much about themselves. And honestly, it's reminding me of who I was as a person before I like worked on myself and like realized more about myself. And I feel like to, to a certain extent, you can do a lot of work on yourself as a person but i feel like a lot of that work too also happens when you're in a relationship with someone or if you like you know decide to be in a relationship with someone there is inevitably work that is going to be done in that relationship to benefit both of you like on like on your own personalities and you learn more about yourself when you're with someone so it's just a, such a beautiful thing to see unfold throughout this book i have all my post-its here we finally kind of got to like a steamy part or like them realizing that they like don't hate each other and they actually love each other so that's been really fun to read and i'm really curious to see where the, like the final last pages go just because i feel like i feel like that was the end of it you know i feel like that was going to happen in the end like i feel like they were going to fall in love with each other more near the end but it kind of happened in the middle and i was like oh okay like where's the story going but anyway that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be reading because it's Thursday and festivities start on the 22nd on Sunday. I have a lot of preparation to do before. We have to go grocery shopping for um, food and then we have to get like decorations and stuff. This is the first time in my life that I am spending Lunar New Year or I celebrate Chinese New Year. So celebrating um, Chinese New Year without my family, which is weird saying that out loud and i still haven't processed it i think i think i'm just trying to like cope with being away from home finally living like away from my family or not finally but like actually living away from my family and having to celebrate lunar new year alone so it is kind of sad but i'm also trying to make the most of it you know i'm trying to pick myself up and not be too sad for myself and try to plan things with the found family that i have here and my partner's family because they're also chinese so it's just been gratitude and planning and trying to like reframe my perspective on this holiday that i am now spending away from my family we have a lot of things to do like i said i'm gonna finish my book but i got this really cute like um list thing from target i don't know if you can see it i'm gonna show it here but it's a grocery list and i just thought it was absolutely perfect i don't know i've been like going through a lot of like lists lately like i have this to-do list and i have this is my regular to-do list but i i kind of realized that i just need one shopping list and i feel like this is the best of both worlds because it separates the shopping list into like different categories so like produce grains pantry dairy so i know exactly where to look for them in the like supermarket i think that's just so smart but some of the things that i have here so on the 22nd on the night of the 22nd i'm hosting a dumpling wrapping party for me and my friends um just me and my friends here and for that i have to buy dumpling ingredients i've actually never made dumplings before my partner knows more about this so he's going to do all the cooking but i'm gonna wrap dumplings i know how to wrap them but i'll vlog a little bit of that because i think that's just so fun anyway i have to get some soy sauce um some dumpling skins some pork strip um, bok choy and then i also have to get udon noodles just like groceries i have to stock up on but again this is like a lifesaver and i'm really excited to check out the market so yeah that's pretty much what's going on in the next few days i probably won't check in until i finish the book and do like my final review and i'll obviously take some clips of us preparing for chinese new year because i think that's just like the fun of it is to watch all the festivities happen i personally love seeing what other people do for the holidays and then i am also doing dim sum with my partner's family on like the 29th but i probably won't keep this vlog open for that long so yeah that's like the rest of my you know that's like the rest of my week and i like that i'm planning ahead and i'm getting ahead of it so i'm really happy and i'm enjoying this book so much it's making me like 
it's just making me so happy and I am just a very happy girl right now. So I'll check in with you a little bit later. rapidy wrap up time this is gonna be my final review for lunar love i've actually i actually finished this a few days ago like a three days ago so i've had quite a bit of time to stew about like my final thoughts and i'm ready to give my final review as always with my reading vlogs my final reviews are non-spoilery as is this whole video so don't be alarmed if i talk about anything because it's non-spoilery stuff and it's stuff that you find out from the synopsis so this book is definitely not what I expected. I have to admit, I did think it was going to be very cheesy from the get-go just because I've, I haven't read a book that takes place, like, that is very, like, cultural, like, takes place during, like, a cultural holiday. So for me, I was kind of like, okay, is it going to, like, talk about the culture and the traditions or is it just going to, like, use it as a backdrop for this, like, romance? Um, but it did not. It actually delved quite deep into the culture and it was just really cool to see that in a romance book on a more personal level this is definitely a book that i wish i had when i was younger um when i was younger i didn't really appreciate where i came from i was very ashamed of being chinese being asian and i feel like this book would have just resonated so much with me or at least taught me how to appreciate culture and tradition when i was in middle school and really needing a book like this i think now as an adult reading this book it's kind of it's very resonant and it's like yeah go my culture like oh my god so proud to see myself like reflected in a very popular romance book but i definitely think this is so beneficial to a lot of younger kids even or a lot of people who i think have mixed feelings about like where they come from okay the interesting thing the pacing of this book is very interesting so it, i actually lied it doesn't take place it does take place during lunar new year but it's not the whole entire thing it actually takes place months leading up to lunar new year so this entire book which is not that long by the way this book is like only 300 pages spans over the course of like five months i think that's not like a hard that's not a hard like you know answer to that question but it spans over a large amount of time and the pacing just felt way too fast like for a 300 page book that's like some shit i'd expect from like 600 page fantasy books but for a romance book that takes place over five months i was like oh my god this is happening so fast and I kind of just wish it slowed down and, you know, started the story a little bit closer to Lunar New Year. But I understand the reasoning for why the pacing is so fast and why the author needed that much time to set up the story. And I did like how the ending was like ending off on this like big celebration and big holiday. Kind of like what the entire story was leading up to. So it's interesting that it doesn't start during Lunar New Year which is again interesting pacing was just a little off for me but that was just my opinion of it i think overall this is just a book that everything can everyone can take something from even if you don't celebrate lunar new year i think this is definitely a huge story in identity um and relationships and love and i think the reason why i like this book is it, it showed very multifaceted sides and dimensions of you know love and how we like to be loved and how we love other people um i think especially what i appreciate about this this book was it's showing kind of the optimist and the pessimist side of relationships and love i think it just featured people with all different types of relationships with all different types of opinions on like relationships um and yeah it was great to read i think
think again this is if you don't celebrate Lunar New Year or if you aren't Asian this is definitely still a book that you will very much enjoy. This is something I touched on in a clip previous but the discussions on mixed race um, being mixed race and how that plays into cultural identity were absolute perfection. I don't think I've ever read a book with a mixed race main character and I've read a lot. One of my favorite books of all time The Astonishing Color of After follows a biracial main character and that book definitely talks a little bit more about culture but this one is just so introspective and very interesting. I think if you share any like mixed race of any kind this book will definitely resonate with you especially if you um, are someone who even if you're not mixed race but have a trouble finding like where you belong and you know who what culture you belong in and finding a home in that culture I think this is definitely a resonant book and I think it just made me love it even more because again these serious conversations were being had on top of this very hilarious and funny subplot and characters who were just literally it was just it was hilarious but at the same time like very serious and very you know very you know discussion oriented so overall this book is just amazing i actually came out of my goodreads no rating slump and gave this book five stars on goodreads because it just deserves all the hype lunar new year does not last for one day it is a holiday i think it lasts for 15 days so if you are wanting to read this for lunar new year you can still read it because the festivities are still going on but even if you aren't and you are just watching this vlog um totally literally months after it was released you should still definitely pick this up i think that it's a really it's a romance worth reading in terms of like it's um the topic the subject matter but also just the views on relationships that aren't really talked about in a lot of romance books so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video enjoy coming along with me to read this awesome novel and to celebrate for lunar new year hope you enjoyed some of my clips if you celebrate happy lunar new year to you and your family and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you on my next one bye